Ah, the beautiful green waters of a quarry. Yeah, that's a quarry down there and uh, it's been here for a while and there is reason to believe that before this quarry filled with water, uh, there was items down there for construction and other weird things. I don't know, even some people even say there's a plane down there, a submarine, boats, uh, all are down in this quarry that is filled with water. And uh, so I've got the BW Space Pro and I'm gonna go check out right now if I can see if there's anything below this. Now the problem is, check out this water here. It's kind of green. <laughs> it doesn't look to be very clear. I think the heat from the summer, the algae and everything has sort of made it really green vice, very clear like a quarry should be. So I might not be able to see too much, but we'll try it out. Got some divers out in the water out there. I gotta stay away from them. Uh, I'm gonna go down around here. It doesn't look so great but uh, I'll see what I can do. This is in my way, so I'm gonna have to lay out my stomach and put the little space pro in the water underneath here. Okay, land the pad, I'll lay on that. Oh, bungee cord, woo! Going up, going up, going up. And coming down, coming down, coming down. Let's go plop you out in the water. Probably a better way to put this out there, but I'll try this. Hold that. Good thing this floats. I just don't wanna smash the front lens. Ooh, it's gonna be fun getting this back. All right, she's over there. It's good. There it is. Can't really see too much, can you? That's low speed. Right now, you see me moving. That's low. Here, I'm just gonna show you. I'm turning around here. I'm gonna put her in high speed. So this is my little speed control right here. Look at that. You can just dart along. Got on altitude hold here. So if I move forward. This is what I see. Unfortunately, I see nothing. I'm just gonna turn it a little bit and I'm going to uh, bring the nose down, look down. Can you see anything? Looking down. Is there anything there? I'm just gonna rotate it around as it's looking down. There's the rock face. Ooh, it's really murky. Okay, I've got it going as deep below the surface so I no longer can pretty much see it. It's down there, but uh, I don't know, this is all I see. And if I tilt it down again, let's see what I see when I look all the way down. Putting the nose down, I'm gonna put altitude hold on. Let me turn the lights on here. I've got the lights on full blast. I'll look down, see anything? Oop. There's something down there. Aha, that's a plane. There is a plane down there. Whoa, whoa, there's a plane. I could just see little bits of it. All right, there it is. You can see a plane in the murky water. Look at that, there's a sunken plane. That's pretty sweet. I'm trying to hold this uh, as still as I can. Okay, so let's bring it back up, altitude hold off. Okay, let's bring you up. Let's put your speeds back to normal. I've got to get this out of the water so I have my, <laughs> so I have Nick, <laughs> Nikki here who's going to uh, hang onto my legs. Hang onto my legs, please. I don't think this is what was intended for these underwater drones people to have to get in the water like this. Pull it backwards so I don't damage the camera. And grab the handle. Get all the water out. And now I gotta try to pull myself back up. There we go. That's not too bad. So I saw a plane, but it was kind of murky. Apparently if I come back in the months of October and November, all the sediment will go down to the bottom and that water should be crystal clear. So if I have free time, I'll come back in October or November and I'll uh, take a look for that plane again. But I know people have asked me and my friends and everybody that I've talked to that said, hey, you have an underwater drone. Can I use it in my lake or my river or my pond or whatnot? And I said, well, you could, but you know, there's a lot of the way the light goes through on ponds, it grows a lot of green stuff. But uh, you know, I guess the best way to find out is to try it. So I'm out here at a pond. Uh, looks like a pond to me. It's not much to it. And uh, I'll just take the little drone and I'll just skirt along the water. I won't go very deep because it's not a very deep pond. And let's see what we see. All right, so here we go. Plop you down. Oh, green water. Lovely. Okay, way over there, I don't know if you can see it, there's a bunch of ducks and they're on the rocks and beside it. I'm gonna send my little uh, BW Pro over at a nice slow speed. Oh, I'm freaking myself out here. Hang on. 
I don't know how deep the water is, so I'm trying to keep it underwater. Whoa, I hate when I see trees in the water. I'm not very deep, I'm skimming along the surface. Ho ho! Do you see any little duck feet sticking out of the water yet? Let me see. Oh, I just freaked them out. <laughs> uh, there goes my duckies. I'm gonna go full speed forward, here we go. This is what it looks like going full speed through the water forward. Whoa, I'm hitting green things. <laughs> it's coming fast, coming fast. Dun 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 dun. Look at it go! So this is high speed going underwater really fast. That's what it looks like. This is pretty much it. You're not gonna see much in a pond. You're gonna have to go someplace where it's really clear. I got it coming back over here. Here she is. She is home. All right, so this is me moving around the water now with image stabilization on. Same thing, just cruising along the water. It's a little bit more stable. You know, this drone is just floating in the water. All right. I do have to admit it is a very nice looking pond and this little BW Space Pro did quite well, although everything's green underwater. So yeah, if you take it to a pond, that's pretty much what you're gonna get here. Let me just take this off. It's not uh, doing anything, little GoPro hat. So that was my outing today. I went to a place, a quarry, but the water was a little murky. So I didn't get to see what I wanted to see. I did see part of a plane and uh, out here at a pond, you know, what could you see? So I was kind of surprised that I actually could see more than I thought I would in a pond because ponds are like green, green murkiness. And uh, yeah, I could actually see pretty well. So that's the review for now. I might go out again to some other location if I can find some location where there's sunken ships or whatever and uh, take this out. But it'll be later in the year when it's a bit colder out. And if I'm lucky, maybe I'll even do some under the ice stuff in the winter time if I get a chance with that. It all depends on timings. All right, guys, thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. If you want to know more about the BW Space Pro, link is below to my very first video on this where I go through every single aspect of it, show you how it works and all the controls and how everything functions and the camera and all the goodies. And uh, yeah, check that out. And there's an unboxing in that video as well. But for now, put links below to the company where you can buy it. It comes in three different versions. You can get one with a 1080p camera, not very expensive. The one I have is a 4K camera, more expensive. And you can get one with a six times optical zoom, much more expensive because, you know, that's a pretty decent camera. All right, thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed and we'll catch you in the next video.